when you're working with motion capture animation where the character is holding an object like a gun or a weapon, sometimes you'll run into a situation where you need to adjust the position of the character's elbow or clavicle, but you need the hand to stay locked to its original position. Now, it seems like this should be a relatively simple thing to do, but in the case of motion capture, where you typically have keys on every frame, this can be deceptively tricky. So I'm going to show you a quick way to deal with this problem that doesn't involve deleting keys or doing anything else that will destroy the integrity of the original animation. So for this example, this animation, the character is actually holding a fishing pole. He's caught a fish, and now he's struggling to uh, control it. Now the problem with this is... Uh, the elbow is tucked in way too close to the body. If I were to apply this to a uh, game character, the arm's going to be clipping into the body, and you know, you see this kind of thing a lot in games, but I want to fix it. So the challenge is, I need to move the elbow away from the body, but I need the hand to stay fixed to this original position. Okay, so your first instinct might be to use the uh, biped layer system to adjust the arm, but this is not going to work, and let me show you why. So let me just create an animation layer here, turn on auto key, and I'm going to rotate the elbow away from the body. And you'll see what's happening here. The elbow is going outwards like I want to, but the hand is also moving, which I don't want to happen. Now what I could do is maybe I'd go in and try and compensate for this by rotating the hand back to its original position. And let me just play this animation now. You'll see what's happening. The hand's just kind of floating around it's lost its original locked position to the pole. So layers are not going to work for this purpose. Some of you might be saying, hey, you forgot to turn on the uh, retargeting options for the uh, arms. Well, that's not going to work either. So let me just demonstrate that. I'm going to turn on the retargeting option for the uh, arms, create an animation layer. Now, if I try and rotate this arm outward, the elbow out, I'm going to get this error. Keys may not be set in a layer on a retargeted limb. So the layer system will not allow you to do that. You can't set a key on a limb that you're trying to retarget. So we need to come up with a different solution. Now, if I was dealing with just a traditional keyframed animation, this would be really easy to fix. All I'd have to do is select the arm and set either like a planted or a sliding key on it. That's going to set the IK blend to one, and it's going to lock the position of the hand to the pole. Then I'd be free to, you know, rotate the elbow outward, and you'll see this is exactly what I want. The hand is locked to the pole while the elbow is rotating out. But in the case of motion capture, we have keys on every single frame. So this would just be way too cumbersome and tedious to do. I mean, this is a relatively short animation at 62 frames. I'd have to go through and repeat that process for all 62 frames of animation and try and match the position of the elbow. That's just, it's just not going to work. So to make this process easier, I made this uh, free little Mac script that you can download from ScriptSpot. I'll have a link in the description. And what this allows you to do is it will convert all the keys in the timeline to sliding keys or free keys. So with arm selected, I can just collect, uh, hit this button here, convert to sliding, and it zips through the timeline. And now we have all these nice yellow keys in the timeline, which are sliding keys. So at every frame of this animation, the hand is now locked to the pole and then I am free to rotate the elbow to adjust it. Now, the second part of this process is I'm going to use an old biped tool that probably many of you forgot about or haven't used in a long time. It's uh, called Set Multiple Keys. So I'm gonna open that up. And for this to work, you need to have Auto Key turned off and then select all the keys in the timeline, just like that. Now what I can do is I can rotate this elbow outward and then click on Apply Increment and that will apply that rotation I just did to every single one of these keys. Now, if I hit play, you can see, ta-da, we got the elbow out away from the body, but the hand is still locked to the pole. It's in its original position, which is exactly what we want. And we can repeat this process too. You know, if I needed to adjust the clavicle, which is kind of a common thing you have to do sometimes, I can then you know, move the clavicle up or down, you'll see the hand stays fixed to the pole. So let me just move it down here. Click apply increment. And just like that, it fixes it. Okay, and then once you're done, you're happy with your adjustments and close this. If you wanted to, you could convert all these keys back to free keys. Just click convert to free. 
and it'll convert them all back to free keys. It's, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But um, that's it. It's a nice, easy solution here to a common problem that you can face when using uh, motion capture. So again, you can download this script from ScriptSpot. Um, and until next time, happy animating. Bye-bye.